We got all kinds of stuff. Tarotfixesall.com. Pick yourself up something today. And there's your dinner. Pterodactyl here. Today's video is going to be on this Husky Myrna that's got a broken frame. And this is a common problem with this piece of fecal matter that they're selling us. These frames break all the time. But before we start the repair video, it's story time. You like story time, don't you, grass rats? All right, come on, gather around. All of you gather around, come on. You, you in the back, come on, get up here. That girl don't like you, get over here, listen. All right, so years ago, many years ago, probably in 08, 09, I used to do warranty repair for Husqvarna's. A garden tractor came in, not a riding mower, this is a riding mower, this was a garden tractor. It came in, it had a broken frame, same as this, and it was under warranty. So I called them to get authorization on it. I go, what do I do with this broken frame like this? Are you guys gonna pay a warranty on this? It's, it's the frame. And they go, oh yeah, we're not gonna pay a warranty on that. No, I don't know. He probably was, was pulling something with it. And I go, yeah, he was pulling something with it. It's got a hitch on the back. And it's a garden tractor. It's not a riding mower. You should be able to pull stuff with it. Right? Right, grass rats? Am I right? Yeah, well, that's probably what broke the frame. I go, no, what broke the frame is you guys punched a million holes in the frame. And I don't even know what all them holes are for. Do you even use all them holes? Well, you know, you do understand that the frame is the first part that rolls down the assembly line. So, you know, you're going to have to disassemble that whole thing. And I go, we're not asking for all that. I go, all the customer wants is for you to pay what it would cost to repair the frame. Because I'm going to repair the frame. I'm going to weld it together. And then I'm going to scab some pieces of steel on there to reinforce it and weld it over those, all the many holes you got in there. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Well, what's all this gonna cost? What's this gonna cost us? And I go, 200 bucks is what the bill is gonna be. Well, I don't know, I'll see what we can do, I don't know. So then the customer calls and complains about the product and he gets a hold of a guy over there and we explain the same thing all over again. And he goes, oh yeah, 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 that's, you know, one of these real happy, jokey kind of guys that's on the phone that worked for these companies. You know, you know the guy I'm talking about, that phony guy. So he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that sounds good, yeah. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Yeah, that's not a problem. Just go ahead and fix it. Send us the bill and we'll just be more than happy. We'll be as happy as Larry to take care of that. So we do all that. We send him the bill, trying to get a hold of the guy. Never got a hold of him. Never, never paid the claim on it. The guy ended up paying me, and then he thought he was gonna get reimbursed and never got reimbursed by this company, which in my opinion, these things are garbage. Cheap, throwaway tractors. Doesn't that make you mad? It's making me mad just rethinking the story about that. It's making me mad. So, we're gonna fix this frame on this one, which is broken back here. This one came in and it's broke. It's been a while since I've had to do one of these, but I know it's a common problem. And it's broke right there. And this is a mount for the sway bar for the mower deck. And the customer was complaining that you can't keep the belt on the mower. Mower uh, belt keeps flying off. We said, well, it's probably got something to do with this broken frame. So there's this company, and I know the guy that owns the company, Scott. We've become friends over the years. And he has made a kit. So I don't have to sit there and uh, cut pieces of steel, weld the frame back together, scab pieces of steel over it, drill a bunch of holes, 
got this quick and easy frame repair kit which we're probably going to be selling in our online store here shortly look at this so I talked to Scott you know it comes with a full full set of instructions that you can follow but it's pretty simple and these just bolt in those many holes that they put in there which weakens the frame now he sold a lot of these he sold a ton of these he told me he can't keep up with the demand maybe some of you grass rats have already bought some of these but there's a left and a right and it just bolts in it comes with the bolts comes with all the bolts and all the instructions and it's real simple to put in because look look at all these holes they punch in this frame look at all them look at all them holes of course that's creating weak points and the steel isn't very thick so I told them I said you know what I'm gonna do Scott I'm gonna weld it back together and then I'm gonna put this plate on there and he goes that's not necessary you don't need to do that, Terrell, he said. You're wasting your time. Why do you need to weld it? This is going to hold it together. Now, this kit, let me get my spectacles on. This kit is called the KF-1000. They make a KF-1000 HD heavy duty which is another piece of plate that he gives you that you sandwich inside the other frame. So you got, you, got this, you got this repair part here, you got the existing frame, and then he gives you another plate that goes on the inside that kind of sandwiches it all together if you want extra strength. Another thing he told me is some people are buying these kits and putting them on their tractor before the frame breaks to beef it up ahead of time so if you're interested in it it's quick fab custom CNC parts and metal fabrication and he's got an email which is quickfabcnc at gmail.com so that's how you can get a hold of Scott he's in Tennessee and he makes these. He makes these kits and he sells a lot of them. Like I said, some of you grass rats may already know about it. So we're going to go ahead and get started and put one of these on. So of course, there's a left and a right. And this one is the left hand side. Because you can see it matches up. So we need to take this bolt out. We need to take these bolts out. See, we're going around this right here. So let me get some tools. And these are self-tapping screws in here. And let's take these out. Look at it. And these are right there. Right where that broke. Garbage. <laughs> Right, and I need to get this bracket off and there's a bolt on top half inch a little tricky to get at Let's see if a ratchet wrench will fit in there yeah it will To get this transmission, I can probably just loosen it to the point where I can get this in here. All right. Now, let's refer to the instruction. Now they got a bolt sequence, bolt insulation sequence. So we're going to want to fill up all them holes with these bolts. 
So it looks like there's eight bolts. Let's see what we got here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Okay. So that would be six for each side. So obviously I should have read the instructions. Mm. So some of these screws we're gonna we're gonna use over, I'm sure. Like these. Like this one, which is a self-tapper. That goes into there. We'll put a bolt in there. And they got nylock nuts. You know what? Probably be easier to go from the inside out. Yeah. Let's do that. Then I can get my little octopus fingers in there. And let's put one here in the front. Nope. And then we're going to want to put two there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So we may have a couple left over. That's the only tricky part. All right, now let me get some tools and we'll tighten them up. Okay, so I, I read through the instructions, which I know I should have did in the first place. And it tells you in there that there's gonna be two extra volts. So we used a two, four, five, and there were 12. So there's two extra volts and those are in case these are damaged so bad you can use these extra bolts to hold hold the stuff on. So these are quarter 20 with 3 8 heads. So it's got a 3 8 head and you got a 7 16 nut here. So that's what you're going to need. And it tells you to put the bolts in like I did. Get it all lined up. And then you can start snugging them down. And getting it all tightened up. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I got these kind of snugged up a little bit and this hole wasn't lining up exactly. So you may have to put a punch in there to kind of pull it over to the side. And you can snug them down. Now I'll go and tighten this one and this one. And we'll put this bolt back in. That's a self-tapping one. I can tighten the one on the top. And then I'll put this one in for the stabilizer. Now again, if these are wore out, then you can just use two of these. Because they give you extra bolts. So this one's a little tricky to get at because the transmission is in the way. So I've got a short 3-8 socket on my flex head here. Now I got it in there. Oh. Would help if I put the 716 socket back on there. There. And then let's get this one over here in the front.
Oh yeah. As they say in Germany, good and tight. Let's see if these will tighten up. Oh yeah. Let me check them. Not stripped out, still tightening. Oh yeah. Yep, that one's good. Yeah, they're tight. All right, so now I gotta tighten this top trans bolt here. I should have probably did that before I put this bracket on. If I get in there. That would have gave me some more throw. So remember that when you're doing yours, don't do like Tarot and put that stabilizer bracket on before you get this tightened up. Take it back off. See? Even I make mistakes. We know it's tighten up. All right, there we go. Now you got more throw. That took me forever. Get that nice and tight. All right. Now I can put this back in. Get them started first, because I don't want to cross thread them, then they'll strip them out. Alright, now I'll make sure they're tight. Oh yeah, they're tight. Yeah. Alright, there you have it, look at that. Stronger than new. Plus we filled in these five holes that you don't need. Now you just go ahead and do the same to the other side. That's a nice kit, nice and easy. If you got a shop, it's quicker and easier to put these on than it is like I used to do it before, where I'd have to grind it, weld it. Then I would have to cut plates like this, cut them out, and then weld them in place. I'd still be doing that. I'd still be, still be uh, fabricating and welding and doing all that stuff. What a nice, simple, easy kit. Again, Quick Fab, custom CNC parts and metal fabrications. Thanks, Scott, for sending me that kit and showing the grass rats how to fix that frame. It's a lovely, beautiful thing. Well, there you have it. A nice, simple, easy installation kit to fix this big problem, which I know it's big, because Scott told me he can't keep up with the demand on these plates. Sound them. This Husqvarna company, they ought to be ashamed of themselves. Shame on you, shame, shame! So, Check out our web store. We got all kinds of stuff that we're selling there, like these new hats. You like this hat? Get a good look at that American flag. It's bolts and nuts. <laughs> and got a koozie to match. You know where this koozie and this hat would look good? On you, grass rats. And it says, there's your dinner on the back, and there's your dinner on the front, and there's your dinner in the can. Check out the other stuff we have, and we will be selling these kits in our online store. We'll be selling them soon. I'll get a hold of Scott. He said that, yeah, if we wanted to sell them, he said we could sell them too. And follow me with your broken frames on your junky Husqvarna tractors on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, 
There's your dinner. Woo! From the frame. Fixed and minute. Didn't take that long. Now I gotta do the other side. And like I was telling the guy at Husker Murder when I was talking to him on the phone, I'm like, yeah, you know, they're the frame is broke, and he's like, yeah, well, we're not going to cover all that because the frame is broken. I went, I understand all that. Why don't you just pay for me to fabricate it? He goes, no, we're not going to do that. So maybe they'll pay for this, or maybe they'll buy Scott out, and they'll buy his repair parts to fix them under warranty. We'll find out. I understand all that. I understand that.